Alright guys, welcome to the channel. So in today's question, uh, we have this red truck that is attached to two cables AC and AB. Uh, we know that the tension in cable AC is 1.5 kips. Um, we need to determine the component of the force exerted at A by this cable uh, AC. So the question might seem a little bit intimidating at the beginning. So as we can see, the truck is uh, on a slope that makes 30 degrees with the ground. And all we have to do is, uh, first of all, for finding the, the vector in 3D in X, Y, Z component, uh, what we need is, so in here we are looking for tension in cable AC. Uh, we need the unit vector first for NAC and we also need the magnitude or the tension in the cable which from the question we know it's 1.5 kips. Uh, so kips is just another unit for the uh, force uh, just like pounds and uh, newton. Uh, so what we have to do in here the easiest way is if we find the coordinates of uh, A and C, uh, the rest of this uh, would be pretty easy. So for AC, if we find the coordinate of C and subtract that by coordinates of A, we can get AC and from AC, we can simply find the unit vector, which is NAC. And it would be pretty easy after that. So. Uh, let's draw uh, this shape in here. So we have this inclined surface that we know the angle is 30 degrees. And it will be the same thing in the other side. And we have this point A, I'm going to show it here, that if we connect it to here, and if we do a cross section in this side, what we'll see is... Uh, something like this. So we have to, first of all, since we don't have any origin in this question, we have to uh, set our origin uh, somewhere in here that, that based on that origin, we can find the coordinates of uh, C and A. Uh, so if we consider our origin in here, you know, let's put O in here. Uh, let's put Y, Z, and this will be our X axis. And from here we can find, and we also know that uh, we have point C somewhere in here. And this will be the tension in cable AC. Uh, I'm just going to transfer all the dimensions that we have from uh, in the question. So uh, here we'll have 28.8, uh, which is what we have in here. Uh, for A, we know uh, this distance is 54. And we also know this angle is also 30 degrees, uh, since we have this angle 30. Uh, we don't have any information about this distance, but simply because we have the uh, the angle 30, we can uh, find that distance easy. Uh, we also know that uh, this distance for uh, point C is 45 foot.
and let's see if we can find the coordinates uh, now. So if you if we look at point uh, A in here, uh, let's see what we have for X. So simply for the X uh, component for A, we have to figure out the distance between O and A. Uh, and if we look at the uh, right triangle that we have in here that I'm highlighting in yellow, we can find the OA simply by 54 times cosine of 30. So 54 times cosine of 30 would give us uh, the X component for A. Uh, let's move on to the y component for a. So as we can see, uh, since it's in the on the x-axis, there wouldn't be any y component. So simply we have zero for uh, y and for the k. As we can see, same. There is no z component too, because the point a is uh, on the x-axis that we. Uh, considered at the beginning so that would be pretty much the coordinates of the point a uh, well, let's move on to c so if you look at c uh, for the x component since we are in a yz plane there is no x uh, for the y we have two distance so we have this distance from here to here, 28.8, uh, which is a given in the question. And all we have to do is to find uh, this distance you know, that I'm showing with this star. And for that, we can simply do the uh, 54 times sine of 30. Uh, we'll get that distance. And if we add that to 20.28, this would give us the uh, the J component or Y component for these point C. Uh, we, we only need to find the Z component. And if, and if we look at the point C, we'll see we are on the negative uh, sides of Z. And we are going to uh, uh, 45 foot to the negative direction of Z. So we'll have... Uh, minus 45 well, that's pretty much it so now that we have these two we can easily find AC which will be um, the coordinates of C minus coordinates of A. So for I, we have 0 minus 54 times cosine of 30, and that would be minus 46.765. Uh, uh, for uh, J component, we have this minus 0, and if we do that, we'll get uh, 55.8. And the last component is minus 45 minus 0, and we'll get minus. And now that we have this, uh, the rest of this is easy. Uh, so for finding the magnitude of the AC, we just have to uh, do the... And if you do this, we can find the magnitude 85.590. So now that, now that we have this, uh, we can find the unit vector for AC, which is uh, Uh, what we have in here over the magnitude which we found.
and for finding the t uh, from what we have at the beginning in here we just have to multiply the unit vector by the uh, magnitude of tac and from the question uh, it's a given that the tension in the cable is 1.5 kips so basically for the tension in cable ac we'll have uh, 150 uh, sorry, 1.5 times and if we find this we'll get uh, minus point a 20 for X we'll get and for Y we'll get a negative uh, point 0.789 and it will be in Kips that would be the final answer for um, this question. Uh, we also have another cable uh, in this question, which is the cable AB. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make another video for the tension in cable AB. See you guys.